Uh, let's talk about Halliburton. We've been hearing for a long, long time that Halliburton may be profit focused. It's a for profit company, but they uh, they really just act in the best interests of their business without being particularly deceptive, dishonest or anything like that. We now know that Halliburton has, in fact, pled guilty to destroying evidence in the Deepwater Horizon Gulf oil spill incident. Now, you'll remember that uh, there's a five hundred thousand dollar valve that had it been installed in the Deepwater, Deepwater Horizon drilling operation would have prevented the entire blowout that took place. And Halliburton, in part through lobbying, was able to have that five hundred thousand dollar valve not be a requirement of their drilling installation. Uh, now we know that Halliburton is going to be paying a two hundred thousand dollar fine uh, for evidence that they destroyed uh, regarding the Gulf oil spill. And they've also decided voluntarily, voluntarily, Lewis, to make a fifty five million dollar payment to the National Fish and Wildlife Fund Foundation, according to the Department of Justice. I have to tell you that this sickens me. Some people are reacting as if justice has been served. Halliburton has now paid for what they have done. This is really a significant in significant dent in their profitability or anything like that. This is absolutely pathetic. Two hundred thousand dollar fine is is zero. I mean, it is literally like losing a penny for the average person. This is nothing to Halliburton. And in addition to that, the fifty five million that they paid out to the uh, Fish and Wildlife Foundation, I haven't been able to ascertain definitively whether it's tax deductible. If it is, look at the look at the financial benefit of even making that gift. But let's assume it's not for a second. Now they are going to, for PR purposes, be able to say, hey, we voluntarily chose. We're so committed to wildlife and the Gulf and this entire thing that we chose to make a fifty five million dollar voluntary payment. This is a farce. There are two legal systems in this country, as we've talked about, for different kinds of people. And as we've heard, big, big corporations with lobbyists are considered very special types of people in our legal system. Yeah, cash is king. This is proof of that. Even the fifty five million is absolutely nothing for Halliburton. And to think that five hundred thousand, what five hundred thousand dollars could have done two hundred. Oh, right. Oh, I see what you're saying. The valve, the, right? The yeah. valve, right. I mean, how much more did it cost him in the end? Was that really a good business decision? I, clearly not. Well, I guess we'd have to compare it to how many five hundred thousand dollar valves they would have had to purchase total, right? Because they wouldn't have been required to purchase it only for this drilling operation. It would have been for all of them. This is not justice. Period. That that's it. I don't know what else I can tell you about this. And just for comparison's sake, BP pled guilty to other aspects surrounding the Gulf oil spill. They paid a one point two six billion dollar fine and Transocean paid a four hundred million dollar fine. Two hundred thousand dollars and a fifty five million dollar voluntary payment that may be tax deductible and certainly can be used for public relations purposes. Sickening, absolutely sickening. Let's talk uh, about. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Lewis. I mean, between the the one point six, one point two billion dollar fine, the over one billion in damage control and cleanup. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's any way that even if they install the valve on every rig they own it would have come even close to those types of numbers. Right. No, at $500,000 a pop, it certainly doesn't seem like it.